Good morning, Global Perspectives. I hope that you had an excellent Easter weekend. Um, I will be pausing my, you know, my speech will be a little bit broken as I admit um, students and my attention is diverted. Uh, so bear with me. Um, we have, wow, um, we're missing quite a few. Hopefully they will be logging in. Um, I know sometimes there can be technology issues, so I tell you what, I'll pause the recording and give just a couple of minutes for people to, you know, find that password and put it in, et cetera. Now, we'll just move forward. Um, there's no real way to ask this without um, putting people on the spot, but, but guys, I guarantee you, it's only tough to be the first one to raise your hand. Uh, and if nobody else raises their hand, then a lot of people are lying, okay? Um, how many are really struggling getting either the transcript or the PowerPoint or both put together? Not struggling to find the time, not struggling to sit down and do it or the motivation or that kind of thing. You're actually blocking some time. You have some sources that have been provided by your group. You have the file pulled up from Canvas. Um, you've watched a, two or three of the student videos, but you still, you just, you don't know how to put it together. Is that anybody, is that the case for anybody? So no one. Well, that's good news. Um, let me ask it in another way. How many have completely finished, ready to turn it in? Raise your hand. No one, okay. Um, second question, how many only have their outline that was due last week finished and haven't actually started writing? One person, who else? Two, who else? Several, several, okay. Um, now I need some honesty here. So let's not, um, I'm going to call on someone. Um, Ms. Tomlinson, I'm unmuting you. Um, is this because of like just time situation, like finding the time to actually get it done? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, thank you. AC, um, how about you? Anna Claire, how about you? As far as getting it done, are you finding it difficult to find the time or are you? Um, hello? AC? All right, um, Caden, how about you? There were about, well, actually over half of you guys raised your hand. So I was just asking whether or not um, it's difficulty finding the time or you're, you're having some comprehension is issues with it or, or what's happening with it. Why have we not moved beyond the outline? Um, and Caden's not there. Hello, Caden. Okay. Um, Cole, how about you? I don't know if you guys are having problem uh, well, Co, I unmuted your mic. Um, you should be live. Okay, finding the time. Hmm. Will, um, your progress is it? Is it challenge? Was it? Is it because it was Easter? Is it challenging to find the time? 
Um, uh, it's finding the time of when I got to work and I was not having any trouble framing the issue and I'd already had a plan on how to form my solution by giving evidence. It's just doing other work for other classes that's due before this one is the problem. So time is it. Okay. Um, well, I've already been notified with actually by, um, well, it's not important by, whom, but let's just say by the highest authorities that, that we will be moving forward with the presentations guys. Um, this will be our part of our, I don't know what to call it a file of artifacts or proof um, to justify your grade. Um, unlike, as we mentioned last week, unlike other classes where there'll be tests and, and um, essays and that sort of thing that um, justify grade in here, it is the actual product. We can still move forward with the product. So we really need to get that done. I just, um, I don't want a situation where, now, obviously, with academics and, and deadlines and, and getting things done, there will always be pressure. There will always be some anxiety. We can't avoid that because we're people. Um, but I, I don't want this to be a random artificial deadline that's just placed on you guys arbitrarily. Um, that um, hinders you actually getting it uh, finished. Um, if there are over half of you who haven't really started this thing and it's due on Wednesday, that due date may be too early. Um, but at the same time, here we are halfway through April. And if we're going to actually film these on zoom, that will take a minute. <laughs> um, it's, it's going to take a while to get that done. So uh, Friday, I'll, I'll extend that to Friday because we're going to actually have to move into the next phase so that we can work towards our final draft so that we can actually schedule um, recording these. Um, that's the next step, guys, uh, I need to ask you about that. I really needed some, some real input. You, you've been in the class. All of you guys have been in the class all, all year. You've, you've sat through this. You've met with your groups. You've researched. You've written. You've done all those pyramid assignments leading up, up to this. Uh, you're invested, all right? This is your grade. Um, not classroom grade. We all know y'all going to be fine on that. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about our Cambridge marks here. What will be given to you as credit for Cambridge. Um, also, we don't know if we're going back to school. I mean, the governor hasn't made that final decision. Um, the board and superintendent hasn't made that final decision. We may be having this discussion face-to-face -face next week. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know if they'll have a ton of masks that we can all wear around school. Uh, I, I don't know. It, look, guys, I don't know. I don't know what the future's going to hold. I do know we have to get this done. Um, so I'm going to move forward as though we're doing it online. That can easily be changed. In the class, it'll be easy. We'll just schedule two weeks of filming in the classroom, and, and that'll be easy. I mean, that's not a problem. Um, getting it filmed online is, is the issue, number one. Um, the school issued laptop right here, right here. I don't know if you saw the keyboard or not. Um, has, I have limited memory on it, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to, you know, remove videos and put them on my hard drive and all that stuff that I record. But beyond that, there's only so many I can record a day, only so many I can record in an hour. Um, so I guess what we'll do is block a set of three or four days and have the, times intermittent throughout the days that, that you will be recording your video if we move forward online and we'll begin that process at the end of april like that last week of april if we have to be at home that's my um that's my idea um who sees flaws with that No one who has input, who, who sees a better way to do it. Here's the problem with you filming it at home and it not being on, on a scheduled style of Zoom. Um, see, with the Zoom video, when we record it and we highlight you, 
we can show that there are some students up above uh, watching it. You know, your, your group will be required to, let's say, log on and watch when you present. So there'll be some students there. Uh, so we know that it was presented to an audience, although it's a small one, it's still an audience. Um, and I, I control the recording there so I can know that it gets done. If you record at home, I don't know how we can, number one, I don't know how we're going to submit it if you record it at home because large file type, which this would be a large file, eight minute video, large files are very difficult to, well, you can't submit them on Canvas. Um, and emailing it. Okay, I'll address that in a minute. Um, but emailing it uh, is, is not optimal um, because that, there are file limitations there. So I don't know any other way to do it than on Zoom. Now, um, someone just brought up the point that it makes it very difficult to do the interactive portion when you're filming at home. I fully understand that and, and I, I know that, I'm aware of that. Um, rather than some type of response type of interaction this time maybe maybe it needs to be some type of illustration and or prepare to interact with people digitally um because your group will be watching your presentation um so right now as it stands at this second um this has kind of got two paths working here one we go back to school if we go back to school simple if we stay at home if, if we're not uh, you know, we're still on isolation and we do this online, it'll be on Zoom and we'll create Zoom times, just a stack of times for your group on a particular day to present. And your group will have to log in and watch everyone present. So you'll have, and everyone will have to be live on video um, and you'll have to um, present that way. And we'll have you highlighted and spotlighted on the video portion and we'll record that. And that'll be our recording that we use um, and put in your file um, for Cambridge Audit. Uh, I think that's um, the most optimal way right now, unless somebody can can um, think of a different way that that's, that is more efficient. Um, that seems to be the best way on lockdown. Um, yes, uh, Jacob, you're the second person to ask that question in a similar way. Um, Right now, as you're writing your transcript, though we don't have a final answer on what we're doing with school, pause, time out. Okay, the governor last week uh, said that uh, he would let Mississippi know by tomorrow, last week he was saying by next Tuesday, which is tomorrow, what he was gonna do with school. So hopefully by tomorrow, and definitely by Wednesday's class, we'll have a little bit more final word, we'll have a little bit more direction, but you need to start preparing this transcript now. I'm assuming, and it's purely an assumption, I'm assuming that they'll be extending that lockdown time, which even if we're gonna go the last two, three weeks of school, um, it wouldn't be enough time to get everything filmed and get everything submitted. So even any extension beyond Friday at home I, in isolation means we have to do these, you, that you have to do these on Zoom. Um, so, Go ahead and move forward and writing your transcript as far as the claims and everything else go. And by tomorrow, you should be able to work on that illustration. It'll be at the beginning. Um, yes, you're probably gonna have to use it in a way that, uh, like right now, if I were to ask, hey, Will, what do you think about blah, 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 and then unmute him and get interaction that way. Or uh, how many of you on here right now have before da, 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 and they click the little raising of the hands. Well, I see that's half of you, you know, that type of interaction because it's a live audience, but it's not a live audience. It's a digital live audience. So yes, you will have to adjust it that way, which will remove some of the um, spontaneous dynamics of it. Um, but you know what? That's okay. That's okay. We're not looking for perfection. We're looking for completion and to get all the little boxes checked. All right. Um, Okay, so update. I am extending the due date until Friday uh, for the transcript. Um, hopefully we'll know something by the time we meet on Wednesday as far as some type of final uh, direction on, on when we're gonna meet. Um, hang on.
Um, yes. <clears throat> you can log on at any time. Um, I will create specific Zoom meetings for specific groups. You can log on at any time. You can see, you'll be able to see that. Um, my internet, I had that little message, my internet uh, connection was stable. I don't know how much of that answer you heard, so I'll repeat. I'll, as it stands right now, my plan is to create Zoom meetings for that particular group. And we'll put your group names in the announcement. So-and-so, uh, so-and-so, so-and-so group at this particular time from this time window. And you'll be able to see that announcement. And if you wish, you can log on and watch. In the past, I have given extra grades. I've had a required number of presentations that you have to watch. You have to watch your groups. And in the past, you have to watch three others. And I would give extra grades for watching additional ones. I don't really know how to facilitate that this year um, because I don't, grades aren't really something we're worried with at this point. It's completion of the Cambridge work, right? Um, and um, perhaps maybe for those of you who would like to improve the, your grade, I can set up some type of accountability system so that you can um, maybe earn back some credit for, for nine weeks past because it's kind of unfair for those of you who are, are, you know, you're right here at your senior year, something we need to discuss anyway, by the way, you're right here at your senior year and GPA matters. It matters a lot uh, on all of your applications and most of you have an outstanding grade in the class, but there are a few of you who do not. Um, and for those of you who do not, you would have had the chance to massage that grade the last nine weeks. Um, you would have had the chance to impact your yearly grade now you don't get that opportunity. Um, I'm not trying to speak for the district in any capacity, and I don't know what their policy is going to be, but I don't, quite frankly, I don't know how we're going to arrange any type of grade structures for the fourth nine weeks. They may only go with the grades for the first three nine weeks. I don't know. Um, and again, I'm not speaking for the district. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but if that's the case, then you would need, uh, <laughs> funny, um, you would need, um, the opportunity to massage those three nine weeks grades that you would have had. I mean, it kind of robs you of that circumstantially. Um, and that should be something we could address with so Jacob. Maybe what I'll do is try to come up with some system or if you watch everyone that you watch uh, outside of your group, you can get this and this and this, or every so many you watch, I'll remove a zero from a past. I don't know, something that, Something, we'll, we'll, we'll arrange some type of structure to allow you to address your grades from past some, uh, nine weeks. I think that was that would um, be a, a fair thing to do because you can't really go back and make up that work. Because if you've already done paper two and you've already gotten your topic and done paper three, how are you gonna, you know, it's you're already moved beyond that. Um, so yeah, we'll try to come up with some system, Jacob. Uh, further questions? All right, guys, um, what I want to do now is I want to I want to hang on line here. And if you have no questions, you know what you're doing and you're moving forward. You understand that the, the due date is now um, Friday. You understand that we're meeting again on Wednesday. Um, then uh, and you have zero questions. You're squared away. Um, when I'm done nearby yammering right here, you can log off for for those of you who have questions, but you just don't want anybody. You know, you don't want the whole class to know. Um, hang on, and I will, um, I will address those questions um, after everyone has logged off. Okay, um, and I, I don't care what the question is in relation to uh, grades, uh, makeup work, uh, transcript, PowerPoint, what to include in a PowerPoint, um, how to reference material. I don't care. If you have a question, hang on. For the rest of you, I'll see you on Wednesday. Love you. I'm praying for you. Um, and you have a wonderful day. I'm stopping the recording.